Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for game week 403 lineup builders. And we're checking out the 402 results as well very quickly. Now, I want some feedback on these videos. I know the last ones have been around about 20 minutes. I do want to make them a little bit shorter if I can, but try and give as much detail as possible during the lineup builders. So let me know some feedback if you can, guys. It'd be much appreciated. Do you want to take these longer, shorter? Keep them as they are doing, drop more insight to the lineups. The way I do these lineup build ones is basically going from my priority lineups to my least priority lineups. So I'll build them with you and show you an overview at the end. I won't too, talk too much about my limited lineups in all honesty. I'll show you them at the end just because I don't want the video to go on for too long. Um, I'm going to stop talking now and jump straight into it. And the first lap I prioritise this game week is under 23 rare. Again, you might see me moving head to head on Sorare data um, to Sorare on my screens. So the first priority lineup is under 23 rare. The reason being, I like to stick all my under 23 plays in one lineup and I kind of forget about it. Um, that's the way I kind of do it. Everyone's different. Again, I appreciate this probably isn't the ultimate strategy. It might be better sticking these in all star rare, all star rare pro, especially with the long format as well. But I do like competing under 23 rare. We need lots of Haaland in here. And, you know, that team there looks pretty strong. Nice of Kirchu, Almada, who didn't have a great game. In bit I don't know, Bakioko has decided to stay at PSV now, hence why he's in this lineup. I think captain this week, I've gone for Kirchu in this one. So again, pretty decent lineup. Nice home games for Costa, Silva, and Kirchu. Then Bakioko got a nice easy game. And Dallas away is not bad for Almada, but again, hoping you know, he can get those spike or those peak scores basically. The next lap I've already done um, using my thumbnail, I'll just kind of show you this right now, is All Star Rare Pro. Um, Olich in goal, um, Hebert, I'll come back to in a moment. Veeman, Silva, and Gill as a captain. So, feeling not optimistic about this team. So, again, some nice, easy fixtures, some home games. Veeman, again, a nice away game for PSV, and Gill as a captain, just because the likes of penalties, and obviously, he is Gill. The reason why I've gone um, Heber in defence, just have a look at your scores, especially at home as well. So it's the second division in Bundesliga, I think you call it that. Look at those scores at home. Um, I'll switch to home. So he's never, ever got a low, you know, past 22 apart from this game here, which he had, you know, I think a penalty can see in this one. So he is a very good for him defender to have, especially super rare. That one is a reward, to be honest. And if you are in the market for, you know, a second division defender or defender in general, I'd highly recommend this guy. He is playing against um, here for Berlin, who did get relegated. I still believe he is quite strong to put in the all-star rare pro team. Next up is Champ. So I'm targeting all-star as well. Obviously, these long, long um, competitions, these monthly competitions. I will try and do a video on that as well. Um, but I do want to play in some competitions that I'm used to as well. So like I've under 23, Champ, etc. But I've gone pretty strong in all-stars, as you've noticed from that lineup just. Um, but I'll be using McKimmick and Kane and Cohen here. So the Barcelona defensive stack, as you've seen before. The Bayern Munich kind of attacking the stack. And then I'm going to stick Madison in this lineup as well. Captain's quite a difficult choice. I am tempted to pick Kane again just because he's a goal scoring machine. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to pick Kane. That might change prior to the deadline. And those that you know, do follow me on Twitch, I will be streaming this afternoon on Twitch as well on the deadline, about half past one UK time towards the deadline. So keep. You know, keep alerts for that as well. Next up is All Star Rare. So, again, going pretty strong in the All Star divisions I mentioned before. All Black and Gold. Tap Sober's got a really nice home game as well. I'm going for Reino. So, um, the GOAT, which is Messi and All Star Rare. And then I'm going for um, Victor Osherman as well. He's got last 15 of 57. So, pop him in here. I'll probably have to captain Messi there. So, now again, nice few home games. Osherman's got a tough game against Lazio at home. But. Got a, I've got a funny thing he's going to score sort of, some sort of penalty this weekend. So fingers crossed for that one. Next lap I prioritised is Champ Europe Rare Pro. Now this team on, on the screen, look at it, it's quite, it's quite decent to be fair. It looks, looks okay. Um, so yeah, Mbemba and Chalive in the defence. As a home against Wolves, quite a, quite an easy game, hopefully, taking some set pieces. Son away at Burnley, not too bad. And they've got Bowen as well against new promoted Luton. Captain Truth is quite difficult. I just think with Son taking on pen well, taking penalties and getting around 25 AA these last two games in here, it makes sense for me to captain Son in this lineup. Again, I do apologise if I'm going too quick or might be going too slow. Let me know. 
Give me some feedback in the comments below. Next up I prioritise is Challenger Rare Pro. So I've gone for the defensive stack um, of Hervedine. I think how you say it. W Wild um, a couple of weeks ago when I finished second. Rob Scoffs is next super rare. The new signing, so you might see in the thumbnail, I've got a new sign. I'll talk a bit more about this in a bit more on the video, or maybe another video. But that is my new signing, Icardi. The reason behind, you know, getting um, Icardi, just because he has he has moved, he's got no risk of a transfer. Um, so he's pretty solid. I've lost Otavio as a midfielder for Challenger, but I'm still lacking that attacking you know, midfielder or forward. Hence why um, I've gone Icardi, um, and then Bakasetas as an extra in here as well. So pretty optimistic. Probably Scott is a weak link in here. Get a home game. He has got a goal and assist in the last two games. Not quite sure who to captain, in all honesty. Um, I know Kai doesn't get amazing A scores, but obviously he can score. I think because he makes his debut in the galley, I might captain him. Um, Back I say, Tass is a great captain option as well. Again, that might change during the stream later on this afternoon, but we'll stick that in for the time being. Next up is All-Star Super Rare. So, Again, one of the leagues I do target quite quite hefty, to be honest, just because you know, the monthly competitions as well. So, Unistall and Dijuk in defence. Dijuk's got a 95% chance starting on Serer data. So, I'll have to double check that on Play Sharper later as well, just to make sure. He did play about 15 minutes last night against Unistall and SC20. So, again, we'll just kind of double and triple check that later on today. On for um, the Ghent boys against Club Bruges, a quite a difficult game there. But, you know, Kai Pizzundi start, obviously. Really good players. And I've gone for Muriel um, in defence as well, who is second at the moment. Um, Palmeiras is second, so they are fighting for that title. Um, I believe he will play. He has, but he has just played the Champions League game equivalent over in South America, but I'm feeling confident that he should play. Captain Truce is quite difficult on this one. I'm looking maybe to start or Kuipers. Um, I'll probably go to start again. This could change. Again, maybe Kuipers just because of the goal-scoring threat. Um, yeah, we'll go Kuipers. Why not? We'll go, we'll go Kuipers there. Last-minute decision. I'll, get, I'll build a few more lineups and I'll kind of show you how I prioritise this on Surair data as well using the save lineups. Two. Next up, I've done the Cap 240 Super Rare, um, wherever that might be in here. Um, and then this week as well, I'll kind of come back to my results from this week. At the moment in time, I'm I'm on two five two points, so hitting the super rare, super rare threshold this moment in time, which will be great. I'm just hoping Opta, you know, don't do me over with that one. Again, cat two forty, just looking for those AA scores. Yeah, I've gone for two midfielders in here as well. Not much of an AA threat in all honesty. Moses Sam at home against Marseille, quite a tough game. So yeah, I'm not feeling too great about this one. As you know, cap 240 is a mystery sometimes. I've used all the cap there, not zero left. Um, actually, the reason why I have Brad Stuber in instead, I'll show you why I'm using styles in a moment. Tough game, both of them got tough games, but I'll show you why I've kind of used it, which you shouldn't really do, you should prioritise one lineup. I think Brad Stuber could make a lot of saves against Gill, Gill's New England. Hope just doesn't concede him three goals. The next up, I've gone for Champ Super Rare, Champ Europe Super Rare, which you don't normally compete in. Um, you'll see why I'm kind of using this as well. I've got Martinez against Arsenal. I've got Arnold with a bit of a doubt to start, coming back from that, that kind of illness. And then Ito and Bamba, two forward. So I've gone for like an all-out attack here, in, in all honesty. So you know, two guys that can score well in AA and can get goals and assists. So hoping they can do the business. Arnold's on some set PCs and can get decent scores. And then for the defence, it's quite hit and miss. You know, away against Nice, it's a very tough game. Hope it makes a lot of saves. I can't see a clean sheet, but who knows? And then Marty a bit Arsenal. I just got hope, you know, they play in Kete up front. He wins a lot of, you know, ground duels against Arsenal. But I can't see him doing amazingly well against United. I think I'll catch it Ito just because they are against new promoted Mets at the moment in time. So I'll stick um, Ito in there. Yeah, I'll probably just show you about four or five more lineups and then we'll move on to the overview of what I've built and how I built them on Serare Data and go through this week's lineup as well. All the 23 Rare Pro is next. So again, they're feeling pretty strong on this team, only using one Super Rare. Um, Van der Voort, Inacio in here. So Forza in midfield. Hugh Galdida played 90 minutes last night, so I'm not 100% sure if he'll definitely start. He's 99% on, on Serare Data and I believe he's pretty high on play sharper too. So... You know, with that as well, I might just captain him, you know, 
maybe him with Shobosly, home against Aston Villa, tough game. Um, you know, saying that probably the XP so captain Shobosly for this game. I think Liverpool will be Aston Villa. I think it'd be a, a tough game, but Shobosly looked really good against Newcastle. Well, those that did watch that game, um, one of Liverpool's best plays in my opinion on the pitch. Challenger Bears next, gone for Mignolet and Bodak in defence. Mignolet's got a tough game against Ghent, so again, not expecting too much from there, not expecting a clean sheet. Bongon did quite a tough game against Krasnus Ball, who I do believe are top at the moment in time. Gone for Mizik and Van Houston as the extras. Then for the captain choice, probably go Mizik just because he can get decent scores. Maybe Bongon is a bit of a toss up there. I'll go Mizik, he, can, he is capable of getting those 70s, 80s scores at the same time as well. So next lab, lab I prioritised is the Cat 270 Rare. Now I'm using Bruno Fernandes and Mike McGann. We've some really good plays in this lab, which I don't normally tend to kind of focus too much on the Cat 270. And Boss Gagli is 98% chance of playing, so you know he maybe could go in a different lineup. You know, I'm just having a look now, um, the Challenger Rare potentially, but you know, I'll stick him for the for the time being. I'm going for Bruno Fernandes with Arsenal, very tough game. He will be the captain in this lineup. As well, um, who is, is me forward? Sorder, um, in me forward, last 37 cap away game for Newell's old boys. There, and I'm going for Enzo Lafay is me extra, so again, pretty strong extra in here as well. Enzo Lafay, and this lap could go, you know, maybe an all star rare minus the forward. Um, he's there. So yeah, they, on another given week, this lineup, you know, would, would, would be one of my stronger lineups. You're going to get an all star, all star rare pro champ. You know, rare pro Fernandez, one of the better players. These three here, especially these, you know, Basagli, Matt McGann, and Bruno Fernandez, are normally used in my you know top priority lineups. And um, this week, just due to fixtures, maybe not Basagli, but some very tough fixtures this week. Hence why they're in cap two seventeen. Who knows? That could be a great lamp this week. I'll just show you two more lineups. So we'll go to the Champ America Rare Pro, and then cap two forty rare after. Philadelphia defensive stack, as always, with Blake and Glesner, who had a poor game in the midweek, which kind of pissed me off a little bit. I'll kind of show that in a moment. Joe Polo and then um, Rui Diaz, who hasn't scored in about nine games, or maybe more than that. I saw a little stat on Twitter. And then Shakiri, again, who hasn't had the best of games recently, but I just know he can get those peaks, and DC that's is not a too bad of a fixture. I'll probably captain um what, what I what think about captain Rudy Diaz there against his you no know, I didn't play last game. He's nice and fresh, but I just don't know if he's definitely going to score again. So I'll just kind of stick that in for there. Then the cap two forty going for Joe Hart way against Rangers. You no know, tough game on paper, but you know, who knows? It's it's a it's the the Derby there. Um, old firm Derby. So gone for Joe Hart there. Um, Nakatani in defence, nice home game for him. Moriaka in midfield, who has a cap of 33 for the last 15. So again, those are brand new to rare. These last these points here mean the last 15 games. And for the cap 240, as it says right there, you need to hit under 240 for put a team out. And then at the moment in time, you need 250 points to win $50 in this competition at the moment in time. That is changing a couple of weeks ago. I will do a video on that as well. And then Nico Williams as my extra, who was originally in my under 23 plans, um, but that has now changed, obviously, with Bakayoko in the team. So, just kind of give you an overview, and um, hopefully, you guys can see that. So, this is kind of how I build my lineups on Sarare Data. You'll notice that, you know, gone through this kind of procedure here, just about to see his players cut off. Um, but this is how I do prioritize, you know, under 23 as I mentioned first. Um, Two lines I didn't show you is my Cap 220 Super Rare and my America Rare, my America Rare as well. I won't bore you too much with that, but they are two more lineups that I'm not feeling too good about. Probably my one of my throwaway lineups, to be honest. And they also play here and um, in Cap 220 as well, but not lineups I'm excited about too much. And on to Limited. So those that do follow me on YouTube and Twitch will know I give away one of my lineups this game week. So Nick on Twitter, he DM'd me last night. And this is his team. So he's gone for All-Star Limited. He's gone for Liverpool boys in defence with Allison and Trent and Seller up top. Hoffman is captain, who I fully back. A really nice game for Leverkusen this weekend. And then Kirch, who's gone for as well. So best of luck to Nick. And obviously, whatever reward he does win, hopefully he does win a reward, he will keep um, as well. So I'll send that reward after. So fingers crossed. And, you know, in the comments below, you know, good luck, Nick. 
um, and IK um, will be more than welcome. Um, again, I won't go through all these limited teams just because, again, don't this video being too long, even though I've probably gone on quite a while now. Um, as you can see, under 23, uh, under 23 playing really good about. Foden got a chance to be on the bench. I think he will start. I did say this last week as well. He was ill. I just think he will start against Fulham. Um, as well, the Stokes a defensive stack here. My champ, Europe Limited, Challenger, and Legends. Of course, I spoke about this on the stream as well. Legends is very underrated, in my opinion. Then, just very, very quick to kind of finish the video off, guys. Um, this is kind of this week's lineups at the moment in time. Those that again do follow me on Twitch will know I did a last minute switch. Um, Murillo out, and um, Glesnes in this lineup. Reason being because um, they were 4 0 up in the first leg and he was 50 50 on play sharper. So I pulled him out, and as you can see, Glesner didn't have a great game. You know, adding about you know, 67 and 20, you know, 40 odd points would have got me a tier two, but you know, it's all swings and roundabouts. You know, you get, you get some luck some weeks. The other lads are absolutely terrible. On the 23, quite disappointed with Ugaldi, Almada didn't have great games. Um, maybe I put Van der Voort in this lineup, it would have been different. But again, it's all ifs and buts. But the main lineup this week is winning the, the, the threshold. Hopefully, it's a moment in time. It is roughly about 10 o'clock in the morning. So things can change, points can change, as you know, on Sarah. But currently on 252, winning the $200 with this lineup, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. That's kind of saved the game, we can all honesty. You know, if we could do that every every week, um, I'd be more than happy, in all honesty. And final thing from me is my last, is my, new, my new purchase, and that's Icardi. So again, the reason why I brought Icardi is because I'm lacking challenger forwards. You know, I've lost Otavio, who is a midfielder, but I wasn't you know, lacking a midfielder or challenger forward um, in that sort of region. Um, I am looking at potentially another midfielder in challenger, and then I do want to move on to super rares. I've got one more target, which is Saka from Arsenal as a rare card. I probably will buy more, um, but I do want now to move on to super rares, and that's my kind of main priority moving forward. Getting those not not you know not a leak, not talking in your Salas, your Mbappes, etc. Those really good top end you know, Premier League kind of cards um, as well at the same time. Um, this guy here is linked with Stoke, hence I do support Stoke, so I've got his limited and his super rare. I think got going from a bot yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what he's like in, in the championship. Um, I've seen some things that you know Celtic fans don't rate him. It's not a great start, but you know what we'll to see with that one. Um, so yeah, guys, that's kind of it from this week. Um, hopefully you'll have a good weekend. Um, if you enjoyed the video, drop it a like. Again, drop me some feedback below. Is this video kind of too long? Do I go too much in detail? Should it be quicker? Should it be longer? Is this okay? Let me know in the comment section below. Good luck everyone this weekend and I'll catch you on the next one.